it's incredible to come together. Um, it's a gift, really, these few days we have to reach for the deep transformation that we all seek in how humanity interacts with one another and with our beautiful planet. I want to thank most especially those who've come from far, far away. Most of you have come from far, far away. And also, um, <clears throat> beyond the geographic dimension, I want to thank those who have come from afar in cultural ways. We're crossing many, many different sort of realms of human experience, many types of careers in the room, many types of backgrounds. And altogether, we're reaching really for something that none of us in our path could ever hope to achieve you know, on our own. It's something we can create only together. And <clears throat> coming together is um, just the most joyful part, I think, of the week we have ahead to develop, number one, a shared language, a shared framework for thinking about valuing nature and for cracking open pathways to green, inclusive, and sustainable growth. So we're here to be reflecting, and in very technical terms, as well as just sort of life experience terms, on the many connections between people and nature how we value nature, how we can value nature in the many, many and very diverse ways in which we experience and depend on nature, you know, in meaningful ways, even with all the complexity. How can we simplify through this development of sort of a common language, a common framework for thinking about these values and for making our thinking something that's simplified enough to be actionable in decisions, that's not so difficult for others outside of this room to take on. Because we need the whole world to be taking on um, what we're developing here. So actionable tools, actionable approaches that are simple and yet meaningful, and that can help us transform policy, finance, management, in in um, farming households through to big institutions like the banks and companies and big governments represented here. So it's fantastic to have everyone, the warmest welcome. And I know in this week we'll have a lot of joy both in advancing our understanding together in opening these new pathways and also just in getting to know one another one-on-one. -on -one. And I want to welcome up really quickly the leaders representing um, the, the core partners of the Natural Capital Project. So please pop on up quickly. You know who you are and we'll um, just <clears throat> pass on the, the warm welcome and then tell you we'll get down to business as to what's going to happen. Steve. So good morning from the University of Minnesota. Um, it's really wonderful, as Gretchen said, to see everyone in this room, not only from so many different countries, but so many different backgrounds. Um, so my own background is is in economics, but uh, but I've spent a lot of time uh, working with ecologists and other natural scientists and other social scientists, and really thinking about how do we integrate, you know, the the two ecos, so economics and ecology. Thinking about how do we take care of this wonderful planet that is our our home, and we really need to be able to integrate our social and economic systems with our ecological systems in order to do that. So I'm, I'm, I'm thrilled to see the huge range of backgrounds of people in this room and from organizations. And I'm particularly excited, and I know Uyong is going to speak in a moment, that, that we have uh, welcoming in here a, a new member of the, of the family, the Chinese Academy of Sciences, and uh, working with them. Um, on a, on a range of, of, of projects and to see so many of our Chinese colleagues here. So with that, I will pass along to Rebecca. Whatever her name is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Rebecca Shaw. I'm the chief scientist for the World Wildlife Fund. And I also want to welcome our new partners to the uh, NETCAP project uh, partnership, the Chinese Academy of Science. Really exciting to have all you here today. 
and uh, really looking forward to, um, to the discussions over the next few days. I'm going to be here from the beginning it starts right now to the very end because I don't want to miss a moment. We're at a place on the planet where we really need to figure out some big things, and the Natural Capital Project is a platform for the kind of thinking and the kind of analyses we need to do as scientists, with social scientists, with policy, to really begin to think through how we're going to build a sustainable planet. I can't think of any place I'd rather be than here today with you, and again, welcome to our new partners. <coughs> I am Zhiyun Aoyang from China Chemical Science in Beijing. I'm very happy to be the partner of a partnership, to join the partnership of Natural Capital. And I hope and expected to work together with our partners to push services in science and in policy and to benefit the people in China and other parts of the world. Actually, in the last 10 years, we worked together with the net capital and uh, mainstream in services and biodiversity in policy in China and push China conservation. I'm very happy in China, we all lose a lot of the local government work together from Shenzhen, from Lishui, from Fuzhou, and from Shanghai. And all of China, we expected to use its services and also to play the form invest model in China in different larva and different for land use, for planning and many aspects. Thank you. I'm very happy to join the partnership of Net Capital. Um, my name's Hugh Possingham. I'm the Chief Scientist of the Nature Conservancy. Welcome to the Chinese Academy of Sciences. I think you're the biggest research organization in the planet, according to the web of science and all the citations. Um, um, it's wonderful to be in such a diverse group of people. Um, I'll also be here all week. It's a very important meeting for the Nature Conservancy. We have uh, uh, 400 scientists working in 72 countries. Uh, and to be honest, I'm here to learn. I'm here to learn a lot. I thought that natural capital was just bird diversity and the only ecosystem service was me bird watching. <laughs> Apparently nature provides more than that. <laughs> So um, I'm here to learn. TNC will have 10 or 15 people here this week, some of them speaking, like Fran Alma, who's on our board, Mark Tursik, who's our president. Uh, very keen to talk to all of you about the kind of things and work we can do together. Thank you very much. Great. Wonderful. Well, we've got a fantastic week planned, and we'll just let it start.